Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a monthly favorites video. I'm just going to go over the items which I've been enjoying through the month of uh, July. So it includes uh, uh, anything from like skincare, makeup, dresses, shoes, handbags and everything which I like and which you also like watching. Before we jump into today's video, if you're new here, hi, this is Mona. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing to my channel and also do hit the like button if you like today's video. Let's get started. So the first item which I picked for my July favorites is a skincare item. Not sure whether I'm saying it correctly. It's the Biosense Squalane Pytho Retinol Serum. Okay. So this is like a serum. So this is basically a serum, but uh, it, it's also like a little bit moisturizing. So the reason why I like this is so after I'm, I get out of my shower every day, I just apply this. I don't apply anything else on top of it except for a little bit of SPF. Uh, I don't apply a moisturizer separately. This works perfectly as a moisturizer for my um, skin type. So mornings when I get out of the shower, my skin is actually very uh, dry. So to, to keep the moisture uh, uh, intact before it gets too dry, I put in this uh, serum. I usually take a pump or like one of pumps, max. I don't take like too much and I just uh, uh, massage it all over my skin and it keeps my skin moisturized throughout the day. And even for the serum part, I think it's, I'm, 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 I'm definitely seeing a lot of uh, improvement in my skin. So I'm really liking this product uh, at the moment. So as this product says, it like reduces visible lines and wrinkles. Um, yeah, the main reason I like the serum is it doubles as a moisturizer. Though it does not say, say anywhere in the product that it acts as a moisturizer, I do feel that it definitely acts as a moisturizer. For Phoenix climate where it's like, where we are always in our 40s, this is all I need. I don't need like too many skincare items on top of my skin because it gets super, super hot. So this is awesome. So the second favorite item which I have for this month is a uh, lipstick. So this is from Urban Decay. I bought this like a month ago from Sephora and this is called the Anfugo Comfort Matte. So this is like a really nice uh, brown color, uh, brown shade lipstick which I have been loving a lot recently. So like it's like it's like a it's like not like a very dark uh, brown or something it's like a very nice uh, a little pink tinted brown I would say and I, I really don't know how to explain it but I feel it's like not too harsh and it's like more of more or less like a neutral shade I pair this lipstick with the uh, max chestnut lip liner and that's all I'm good to go it has almost become my, my like everyday lipstick so I really really love this product so let's move on to some of the clothing, clothing pieces which I've been enjoying for this month. So when it comes to June, July, August, even September in Phoenix area, it's super duper hot. Warm is not the word, hot. Because we go like, uh, we are like 120 almost, mostly not 110s and it's like very very hot so it's very important to keep our clothing light and cool so i've been wearing a lot of like flowy or flowy outfits and i have been preferring fabrics like linen cotton etc so i'm going to show you some of the clothing pieces which i've been enjoying the for the month of july so my third july favorite is, is something which i'm wearing currently it's nothing but these it's nothing but these uh, shorts. These are like linen paperback shorts from uh, Target and they were on sale. So I grabbed it for like, I don't remember, maybe like I think 13 or $15 and I'm really, really enjoying wearing this because they're not like denim shorts, so they're not heavy. They are like linen shorts, so they're very flowy and airy. That's the exact word. And it has pockets and it's very chic and stylish too. So I'm really, really enjoying these shirts. Uh, so this will be my third favorite for the month of July. The fourth item which I would like to share with you are these 
pants these are like super high-waisted uh, belted pants from Zara as you can see they are like check pants they are not very fitted or anything they are like uh, a little baggy I would say they are like not like not like um, sticking to your skin so they are airy flowy and they are super super stylish and chic I would say because the high-waisted pants gives you a nice uh, it gives me a nice shape to the to my waistline and everything. I really loved it. I would uh, insert a picture of me wearing these pants somewhere here. But yeah, these are a super good uh, piece. And these these one I got it from the Zara sale. I think they were like for um, twenty two dollars or something. So I immediately grabbed them. So here is a closer look of the pants. So it has like comes with its own belt and the pattern of the fabric is also very nice. The fabric is not too heavy also. It's like pleated in the front and it has like a, like checks or I don't know what this print is called. But yeah, some nice, very nice print going on throughout the pants. And the best part is I'm, I was like, I'm able to style this both casually and also to work. So that's my fourth favorite. Moving on to the... My fifth favorite item is again a linen dress. So this dress is from uh, Target. It's basically like a shirt dress, but it's not like one shirt kind. It has having like a definition to the, your waist, and it also comes with its own like a uh, fabric belt. And this belt will give you the nice uh, uh, figure too. So I I prefer wearing this to work, and again this dress can be styled both casually and also to work. Uh, I don't just I don't wear this dress by itself for some reason I like to wear something underneath so I either wear like a t-shirt or like a button-down shirt whichever whichever I feel to wear on that day I can wear it and if I throw on like a sneakers it gives me a very casual look but if I throw on some heels it gives me a look which I can wear it to work so moving on to my next favorite item I don't know how many of you will be able to relate to this um, it's nothing but like cotton slash linen saris. I have seen my mom wearing sari for all days to work. She used to wear Bengal cotton saris which were which gives a very very elegant look and that's what she was wearing for the entire time she was going to work. Now she's retired. So I have been seeing her wearing, wearing cotton sari for many many years and over a period of time recently I have grown a, a lot of love towards uh, saris especially cotton saris I like all types of saris whichever sari be it cotton silk or any material if I'm able to drape it beautifully then I'm all in for it but for the summer months believe it or not in US in Phoenix I do wear sari to work so sari is something which I don't hesitate to wear to work I don't look for company I don't check with other people like can we wear sari today can we wear sari today no I don't do that if I want to wear sari I go ahead and wear sari so these are the few saris which I've been um, liking. This is one of uh, uh, like a Bengal cotton sari, which is like very very light. If you can see, like it's very light, very flowy, and it's like perfect for uh, the Phoenix heat. And this is like another uh, cotton sari. I don't know what cotton this is, but I really like the print on this one. Both these saris or any of the other cotton saris which I usually wear to work, I have never felt like. Uh, like like it's very uncomfortable I have been very used to saris now so I I wear them as much as possible I don't just buy them and keep it in my storage in my closet I actually wear them let's move on to the next item so we have like uh, four more items three of them are handbags and one is a shoe so let's quickly see what they are so this is my next favorite which I've been enjoying so much. This is one of the recent purchases which I made last month when Coach had their uh, huge summer sale and I also did a unboxing on this one. I'll leave the video link somewhere here so that you can have a look. I actually purchased this bag, the Coach Rogue bag initially in the pebble leather. For some reason I did not love it. I have also made a video on that. I will leave it. I will leave all the links down below and also up in the screen. So this is a bag which I've been enjoying recently. This is a Coach Rogue a bag in the Napa leather with the quilting rivets and quilting. So it comes with its own like shoulder strap and also like a 
top handle so I've been loving this bag so 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 much and this carries a lot if you want me to do like a first impression or like a review on this one I don't think I've used this bag to give a review because it's just been like a month but yeah if you want to know more about this bag just like what fits inside and all those details then please do um, leave your comments down below the next of my July favorites is none other than this one so if you are following me on Instagram then you definitely know this is one of my most favorite handbags which I've been using a lot recently during the spring summer months um, this is not the Chloe Nile bag this is a inspired bag from Chloe Nile from uh, Artesian anything so it's almost like the Chloe Nile it's not like a fake I would say I think there's a difference between a fake like an inspired bag so fake will have Chloe written somewhere but it's not actually Chloe you know what I mean yeah and this is in the like uh, medium size and it's in the color a nude so it's in the same bracelet style and it also comes with a long strap so you can also you wear it as a crossbody bag which is that is how I wear most of the time and when my uh, shoulder aches I also carry it like this this is a very practical bag very very practical and it holds a lot of stuff in it so this is a very very nice bag and I'm enjoying it so the last handbag which I'm going to show in today's video is going to be um, and another favorite of mine this is a designer handbag and this is from a uh, Valentino this is a Valentino uh, spike bag um, I was seeing this bag for so many for so long and finally I went ahead and bought this bag this February month so I'm using this bag for the last uh, uh, six months after this video yeah once this video goes live next to this video I will be doing a uh, a detailed review and what fits inside this bag and all those details all about this bag is coming up on my channel so, so this is in the color I think powder I'm not very sure it's basically a nude color with like a gold hardware but the hardware can show up like slightly like gold in some lightings it shows up like sometimes silver I don't know why it has like a top handle um, top handle and it also has like a a very beautiful chain stack so that's my ninth fit the last item in today's video is going to be these beautiful shoes and you would have seen this in my recent video where I did like a summer sale shoe haul or unboxing and these are from just fab they are like a beautiful um, like a very nice yellow color sandals not sandals like a uh, wedges and uh, they are perfect for the summer month the print is perfect and they have like a nice uh, tie up details they also have like a sling back a uh, sling like a sling back so it's the so you don't have to just depend on like the tie up part the support is already given by the sling back and then the tie up adds like a beautiful detail to the wear of the shoe i have been I have not wore it like a ton of times but I wore it a couple of times and I really really like it they are super comfortable they are very nice they are very pretty and they go with different outfits like shorts skirts jeans anything okay guys so that's it for today's video hope you really enjoyed it if you really like this video then please do hit the like button and if you have any questions or any comments then please do leave your comments down below and if you have not subscribed to my channel then please do hit the subscribe button see you guys next time take care bye bye